Okay, so the next part of the build is going to be the Russet number 81 from Mr. Hobby. I've always did like this color. It's a darker shade of red. You could easily probably take an existing red color and add maybe a little pigments of black to darken it up. Of course, if you want to lighten it up, pigments of white should uh, also help out as well. But thankfully, Banda, uh, Mr. Hobby made this line of paint and I really like it. I have, a lot. I have a lot. So, we're going to begin with this guy right here. And we're going to just do nice, even passes and um, layers. So, Sure, do the back end as well. And the edges. Alright, so that's one pass. I'm going to leave it alone. Let's do this guy. Make sure the thinning was proper. Even I gotta get the edges here also. There we go. Let's do the back sheet, back one. Sure, there's no particles on it. There's one there. All right. And uh, you know, let me do this one. Hold on. Right here, the shield. This, um, yeah, the uh, shoulder shield. So you guys gotta understand that I'm gonna do just one layer. Give me, give me some time to let this part dry, and I'll do the next layer. Okay, now that it dried, we're gonna now apply the second layer. Be a little bit more vigorous.
do it too much because then it, I want to let it dry and then see if it requires a third layer. I don't know. But just for now, get the overall done. Because when you look at the part and it goes on wet, it looks good and then when it dries, you see the um, how it clears up. I'm going to do a few parts. I don't want to waste my time, you know, showing everything. Just uh, the overalls. Good. Uh, let's just do this one. Feeling I'm gonna have to do a third, um, a third pass. But again, we have to let it dry. The face mask came out pretty good. And usually on smaller parts, you get the better results. When on larger parts, you don't normally see the overall quality it, it still like requires a little bit more um, spray painting where the hell is it oh. yeah let's do the head Plus the fact that I have to let it dry completely so that way I can apply the next color, which we'll show soon. So let me continue on. If I have to do a third pass, I'll do the third pass, but I won't show it on camera. Um, and I'll show the, you know, when it's done. And then we'll move on to the next layer of color that's going to apply to this kit. So, here is a small sample of my parts that I just finished uh, painting. Um, I did three coats of the Russet. And I posted some photographs on uh, Facebook to show it off. But, when I began to work on this guy, use, you know, the acrylic, um, I thought that maybe the tone of color would be good for like this, you know, this lighter tone and then the darker tone. But considering that I've already pre-shaded it, didn't need that. What I am content with this was the fact that this is basically a flat base paint. 
the rosette is a gloss based paint. So when I was reviewing the parts, I saw, oh my god, there was a little bit of a shine there. Now, yeah, granted, I have a, a dull um, a dull paint that I have, um, you know, spray paint that dulls it out. It's kind of like a, a pr um, sealant. But since I already had this in the reservoir and I used very little, I just did light passes on this. So it has the dullness at, at one point. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a bit of a, a reflectiveness there for, because I didn't use it on the back end. But on the front end, you could see the dullness there. I'll definitely give it another pass of, uh, of regular, uh, you know, um, uh, flat coat. Just to flatten it out a bit. <laughs> flatten it out, you could say. But it came out pretty nice. I was uh, a bit impressed with how, it, you know, the pre-shading came out. Very good. This came out well as well. And, of course, in the back end. I didn't mind the back end that much. I'm surprised it didn't make a part, you know, like a, a charcoal part that goes there. So it gives it more detail look, look to it. But yeah, this came out well. But actually, the matter of fact, let me show you the shoulder parts, which I was a, very impressed. I, I was actually worried about it, but it came out pretty good. And then, of course, getting along the edges, and here, around there. So, yeah, this 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 actually came out pretty good. Now, pardon me because of the background noise. It's getting warm, obviously, and. Uh, I need to put the AC on just to keep myself cool here. But I'm actually content at, that I purchased this and used this. I was um, deeply pleased with it. So right now, I think what I'm am going to do is I'm going to put all these uh, parts back into trees into this. Give it a top coat just to protect it. This, I'm I'm pretty much done with all the parts. All the parts are done. Now once I, I cop top coated. I'm going to put them away in a box since, so that way nothing goes on it. And then I'm going to work on the next parts, which is basically the charcoal parts.